Hello guys, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Azure, I'm here to talk about assessment tools available for your disposal uh, by Microsoft. As we all know that when we talk about databases uh, uh, and uh, trying to implement uh, the new technology in Azure and trying to migrate, assessment is one of the very important component of uh, this process. Uh, and uh, Microsoft has a couple of tools available that you can utilize. Uh, uh, to assess uh, if those new databases that you're trying to move to are compatible or not. Uh, the step, uh, the tool that I'm here to talk about is uh, Microsoft Data Migration Assistant tool. So if you Google this, it will take you to this page and then you can download and it's a quick download that you can do. And after you have done the download, you'll be presented with this icon on your, uh, on your machine, which you can run. But before I do and run this tool, uh, just to give an idea about that, uh, the database uh, that I'm using is the first TV. That's my SQL database and if name of my server is SQL and we'll see what are the steps involved when it comes to assessing this. So let me just go to the tool and click on this icon. It will open data migration assistant for you. And here in the getting started button, you can go to this plus icon. You have the project type, which is assessment or migration, because we are trying to assess if our database is compatible with the new databases available within Azure environment. You can give this a name for the project. I will name it first assessment. The source server type is SQL in this case and the target service type is a SQL database. Uh, just to point over here is that you have a couple of options when we're talking about deploying SQL within Azure environment. You can deploy that in an IES, so on a virtual machine. You can also deploy this in a database as a service, which is a SQL uh, uh, server, like a single database. You can deploy an elastic pool or even manage instance. For this demonstration, I will use Azure SQL database and click on create. And under the first step, it will check the database compatibility for you and will also check the feature parity and go to next. And under the server name, the name of my server is SQL, the on-prem server, and I'm using the SQL server authentication and provide the appropriate credential. You can encrypt the connection. You can also trust the server certificate. I'm just gonna use the trust server certificate and click on connect. And as I said that, that's the name of my database. Just to show you, this is the first TV that I'm talking about. And I'll select that. If you have multiple database it will, within the same server, it will list all of them. If you want to skip any, or if you want to uh, select all of them, you can do all, but I have only one database. So I'm gonna pick that and click on add and click on start assessment. So under the SQL server feature parity, so as you can see that it says unsupported feature is Azure SQL database does not support uh, uh, the SQL agent, which is not there and SQL Server Reporting Services is not, uh, not uh, there too, uh, which is okay. And partially supported feature is a zero, as you can see. So just to point over here is that uh, uh, when we talk about in database as a service, there are certain differences from on-prem uh, SQL database or even the SQL Server running on virtual machine. And just to keep it short, uh, uh, services such as SQL Server Agent, Database Mail, uh, and uh, uh, and if you want to, if you have multiple databases and they want to talk to each other, that is not supported in single database and Elastic uh, Elastic Pool. That is what it is talking about over here. And if I go under the compatibility issue, it as you can see over here that uh, it says that there is no compatibility issues with your database. So it means that. My database, which is on-prem, is uh, completely compatible with uh, single or even elastic database and uh, even uh, uh, managed instance. So uh, I can export the report 
from here uh, I can just click over here and I can save it on my computer just gonna name it uh, port 1 and uh, give it to my, uh, my, my team who will be responsible for uh, doing the actual migration but uh, the idea is that this tools give you all the uh, all the uh, things that you need to keep in mind to make your assessment easier within few clicks you'll be able to generate the report and see if there's any compatibility issue or not i hope you find this video on uh, azure useful thanks for watching have a good day